Hey everybody, Wiffy here with a Timex 2660. Looks pretty good. I picked it up at the store around the corner, just like my last one, for about 10 bucks or so. Figure, you know what? I heard these Timexes are hard to work on. Figure I'd challenge myself. Everything looks good up until here. Yeah, so nothing moved after that. Figure, might as well open it up. Nothing I can do now. This is just a knife I had lying around. It was going to go to the recycle bin. And now it's going to be my case back opening knife for a bit. Let's get there. And as soon as I pulled that retaining ring, everything sprung to life. I almost decided to just call it good here. But no, let's just go for the challenge. Let's take this whole thing apart. Yep. All right. So on the back here, uh, just wanted to show... There is a screw you gotta use, that one right there. That's the one that lets you get the uh, time set adjust and the winding uh, stem off. Show you all that, looks good, looks nice. No real issue with that. So, yeah, then looks good from that side. Just gonna go ahead and tip it out with my hand. And yeah, right onto my fingertip. Easy breezy. Yeah, as you may see, it worked for a little bit, but then it stopped. And this is the part where I learned that these Timex second hands, uh, they don't go through. They they have a hole in the middle. You can kind of see it. I'll pick it up here in just a second. But yeah, I'm really worried here for a moment that I've broken it and off camera, I went to go look up a service manual. Here we go. Yeah, look at that a little hole right there in the center. Uh, you'll see what that sticks onto here when I zoom in closer. Uh, not yet, but I'll, I'll bring it up later. There goes the minute hand. Looks a little dirty. Yeah, so is my Redico. There's the hour hand. And I also clean up my putty off camera. There we go, fresh putty. And yeah, you can see on there, it's a uh, movement number 25 from Timex. I can't tell if it's uh, from 77 or 71. Uh, both would be kind of appropriate. My gut says 77. Uh, just from the way it looks, but I don't know. I could leave either one. And yeah, you saw I tried to use the tweezers there. It didn't work. The tweezers are more picking up stuff. Yeah, the uh, flat screwdriver works just fine. Just kind of worry them up a little bit. This last one's a little trickier. There goes uh, almost. Just a little bit. There it is. All right, just lifts off like that. So there's the date complication. That's the back of the dial. It says England. That was neat. And because I'm clumsy, I'll just put that in there for safekeeping. Yep. So just pull out the dial washer. Pull out the minute wheel. Almost there you go. And then we'll just. I'm actually really worried there's something under this, but no, nope, it's fine. Just kind of gently slide that away. All right, so grab my parts tray and we'll grab that power wheel. Is that not really? I'm pretty sure it is. And then the cannon pinion. And then, yeah, as I was moving this around, this whole area was loose for the winding air, uh, like gears. So I think that's what was stopping it whenever it got stuck at the nine, uh, nine o'clock position. There's the screw. There's the little retainer ring. And I was gonna grab that, but nope. I thought it was attached to that wheel. It's not. There that goes. 
Let's plot the bridge and another little gear friend right there. Yep, and oh yeah, I thought this was attached for some reason, but turns out, no, no, you can just lift it off. No worries. And now I'm testing. Yeah, this is interesting. It's got a number of just like spindles. And here's that center second hand I was talking about. That's uh, what drives it right from underneath. Never seen that before. And yeah, I've got a second camera. Look at that, look at that. So, just pull out the screw. Everything lifts out at once. That's the little click for the date wheel. Uh, here's a little retainer ring. This was kind of tricky. You can see here in a second that I kind of marked up the uh, wheel, but it cleans up nicely. The, the marks were just superficial. They didn't last. Yeah. Use a little bit of peg wood as well. There we go. And you know, my finger gets in the way, but really it just, just kind of gently pops off that uh, post. There we go, like that. Yeah, there goes that crown wheel, my friend. Oh, here's the last screw. Like, there's the point where I could have turned back still, but I was like, no, no, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be great. position so yeah just like that so oh, time to just finish this assembly a little bit of the keyless works there so there goes the anchor just pull that out first because it's convenient bring this around to work on so I don't smash that uh, seconds hand pinion the keyless works for a lot too so put that aside then we'll take out that fourth wheel second wheel third wheel and yeah, let's do the escape wheel first yeah we'll do that first oh there it went try again there we go then the barrel came out nicely and pull out the arbor in the mainspring I didn't get it on camera sorry everybody it was just a little off so I decided to cut it so there it goes easy out and yeah yeah just off camera right there and that was it all right, thanks everyone. Hope you enjoyed part one. Uh, stay tuned for part two. And yeah, then uh, part three will be out next week or maybe a little later. So just want to try splitting it up. All right, thanks, take care, bye.